Hello and welcome to this tutorial video about how to customize the user interface, especially the display in Autodesk Inventor. We're using version 2025 for the first time. This release has um, 1330 box fixings or that's what our desk is claiming to 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 did for it so the default settings are usually shown like this you are going to see an awful um, display of your assembly and uh, a car well a parking lot on the background there is a wheel okay so uh, how do we get rid of that and get a better look for our assemblies and models when we open them? Well, the answer is go to the Tools tab, go to Application Options, and the first thing to do here is to go on uh, Colors, on the top, Colors, and change this image off here, the Reflection Environment the default is parking lot. I hate it. I will change it to Chrome, which is a pretty nice one. It's a, something that is not going to show up strange stuff on the reflections on your parts. That's first thing. Second thing, getting back into the application options and the color display, we have a new um, dark mode, which actually looks pretty good. There we go. Number two, and in, in remember, number three, sorry, it may be more important, even more important this one. So we have in the display tab, the appearance options. We can use the default ones, that is use document settings. That means that the last stage of the state of the of the display on the part or the assembly that we're opening is going to be used. So how do we avoid that kind of things and always have consistent display every time we open a model, even if it is a shared model from someone else of it is the last assembly that I did. So choose use application settings. Go to the settings button here. Now we have the display appearances and go to the visual style and select shade with edges. At least this is what I like to use. Then we can leave uh, the model edges in one color. This would be in this case, the default is black. And for the rest of the things, I'm not going to select anything because that may have an impact on the performance of my software, especially if I open big assemblies. This is not the case. I'm having a small assembly open, but uh, in any how, in any case, I can also change the type of projection to perspective, for example, or per perspective uh, with ortho uh, faces. I'm leaving it on orthographic, that's my preference. And I will click OK. So those changes are not going to be applied immediately. We need to close the assembly. So remember this ugly shade display. I will close this. I don't need to even save this the, the assembly. I will reopen it. There we go. All right. So now getting better. As you can see, now I can visualize better the parts. And this looks pretty good. And, and with this uh, dark background, there is no part, no assembly that is not going to look cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.